I met a guy the other day uh, who told me he was retired from the Space Force. And I said, Already? retired from the Space Force? I said, he just made the Space Force, but eight years ago. Yeah. He said, yeah, but I was in the Air Force for 20 years, and then I switched over to the Space Force. And I said, yeah, but then the Space Force has literally nobody in space. <laughs> like, I thought it was kind of a joke yeah. until people started transferring into it. So what do you do there? And he said, well... We just it always freaks much... me out when I see the flags of all the uh, branches of the yeah, armed forces. Yeah, and you're like, what's that, that one? Just... Yeah, yeah, what's that weird looking one with the Star Star Trek logo on uh -huh, it? With the Star Trek logo, exactly, which they did on purpose. Did they really? Uh -huh. no, I'm, I'm glad it was on purpose, actually. Just like, you remember the early flip phone called the Star Tech? Yes. It, it, was a, it was a play on Star Trek. And it was the flip phone, like the Star Trek communicator. Star, Star Trek has so much uh, influence on the aesthetics of our modern technology. Oh my God, yes. So the compact disc, there's an oh. episode where um, there's a library uh, on a planet that's, a, where, that's about to be destroyed uh, when a sun goes either red giant or supernova. And there's an old guy in a white robe and he shows all, he's like, all the information of our society yes. is stored on these discs. On the discs. And it's a disc like this. And the guy who invented the compact disc he didn't invent this disk because he, he this was the most efficient way to store data. He literally was just like, he was a Trekkie and he's like, this looks cool. And people would buy these. Awesome. Hold and also on. the iPad, I same, show thing. You same thing. I want to show you something, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, the iPad is like um, basically, uh, like in Star Trek, you'll see them hand a pad to each other, a report like, here, Captain, 